And now imagine living with a growth half the size of a football, which has affected the proper functioning of all your senses. That's the situation of 12-year-old boy Suleiman, who is suffering from a condition uh, that doctors say may lead to his death if he doesn't undergo surgery anytime soon. A tumor that started growing from his teeth has affected his jaws, dislocated his ear, blurred his vision, and now eaten into his brain. It is very painful. It hurts a lot. My ear and my neck especially. His condition has taken sleep away from us. So please help us. It's been 10 years of agony and real hardship for 12 year old Suleiman and his family. Suleiman is not a happy child. Living with a tumor that started growing from his teeth, spreading to the left eye, dislocating his ear, and now affecting his brain, has totally denied him the joys of childhood. Sule is often isolated and unable to play with his peers. But even more worrying is his inability to be in school. He's been out of school for the past six years. Meet his foster mother, Amena Idris. Suleiman is very respectful. Because of his condition, he cannot mingle or play with his friends. We are really saddened by the fact that he cannot go to school. He's very intelligent. He sometimes studies with his siblings. His condition has taken sleep away from us. So please help us, help us, so that he can return to school. Suleiman was born at Nkwanta to poor farmers, but moved to Accra to live with his brother. For the fear of what is there, you see it's painful when you touch there, you can, you can see that it's painful, he told you. Yeah. So, I don't want any eventuality, yes. actually, okay. because active. Mm. I don't want uh, any trouble. As I'm sitting here, I don't have anything. I don't have money to take him to through the operation. So for the fear of any eventuality, I decided to keep him okay. at home. Okay. At any moment he's well, he can go back to school. Mm -hmm. You know, any time till we die, we can but, learn. But it's been six years. Been six years. How long uh, are you going to keep him at home? Until I have... Uh, the help. He was only two years old when it was realized that the tumor was growing in his teeth. But his first visit to the Kolebu Teaching Hospital was when he turned six. Dr. Mauli Ametefe is a neurosurgeon at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. He said Suleiman is suffering from a condition called neurofibromatosis. Suleiman um, is having a condition we call neurofibromatosis. I will not want to bore your listeners and viewers with the details, but it is a problem that comes from the nerves um, developing um, some lesion or some mass. It could be multiple all over the body, or it could be a single one that is deforming. What it normally does is encroachment of your structures and destruction of those structures. So if it's sharing a piece, some space with your eye, it's going to push the eye away or squash it and take over the space. It's, like, it's a fairly fibrous, firm 
um, mass. Now, Suleiman has developed this problem on his face, the right side of his face, which has pushed his ear out of place. And um, the scans that we did also shows that it's eating into some various structures in the face, which are not seen by us, but are relevant structures as far as our face and head is concerned. Its treatment is quite complicated, but even more critical in Suleiman's case because of the extent of growth and damage. 12-year-old Suleiman urgently needs to undergo the surgery or may lose his life. So as we have seen that there's deformity going on and structures are being enclosed upon, the worst case scenario is so deformed that you can't even recognize him. Then the eyes can see, then the nose is shifted or blocked, and then it eats into the mouth and eating becomes a problem. I mean, at the end of the day, your face is you and your head is you. And if it's not there, that means that with time it would, it would end his life. Doctors say he needs an initial amount of 40,000 Ghana cities to remove the lump and reconstruct his face. But a lot more will be needed post the surgery. Our basic aim is to try and remove all or as much as is acceptable to our practice as much as possible and then also reconstruct the face. Um, this is not going to be done by just the neurosurgeons. Um, we are only um, spearheading it, but it's, it's going to be done by a number of um, surgeons. The plastic surgeons are involved to, to help us to reconstruct both the ear back in place and the face so that it will be an acceptable face. The um, maxillofacial surgeons are going to be involved. They would help us with the bony defect that has been that has um, been created by the mass to try and put it back in place. The ENT surgeon will be involved because definitely his hearing is important and if we can restore it, it will be um, good. The ophthalmologist is involved because if the function of the eye can be preserved, we would very much like to preserve it. So it's a, a big surgery that involves a number of um, um, surgeons. But even in his pain, Suleiman can afford the dream. I want to be a teacher. Teacher. Also a teacher. This dream of becoming a teacher may never be realized if he continues to stay at home due to his condition. Ernest Menu for Joy News.